I'm King Marty. I'm a singer, songwriter, and dancer. My producer plays a beat or we just start from fresh where he plays an instrument and we get to like vibe different melodies and from there we just kind of listen to know what the melodies are giving and then we put words to that and there's sometimes when I write it home and um, there's some other times where you know I listen to other people's stories sad stories and I write about them so. My inspirations, especially in music, are Kendrick Lamar. I think my mom inspires me a lot in terms of music because she has one of the best musical ears that I've seen. Um, Brandy inspires me, Chris Brown inspires me, my friends inspire me, so it was a long list. That's a, that's a tricky question because it changes like every time I come out from some sessions, there's songs that are just like, oh, this is my favorite one. Lately, there's a song we made like a couple days ago that I'm obsessed with, but um, I don't know if I could tell the name. Like, I don't know if you guys are gonna like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that one's my favorite. But out, the one that's released, I would pick um, Vision. Yeah. Oh, in terms of their penmanship, I would love to collaborate with Fave. She's an incredible artist. I would love to collaborate with Burna Boy. I would love to collaborate with Loje, Chike. There's a long list of people that, that I mean, Buju again. Like, yeah. <laughs> 100 percent, 100 percent. I really look up to legends like Wizkid. I obviously grew up listening to his music. Yemi Alade, there are a lot of people that did music before I even knew that I could make music. They're role models for me and they live a life that I emulate a lot. I mean, I'm obsessed with practically everything about Wizkid. Um, I love his music, his story, his artistry, his authenticity, everything about him is just so original and it kind of makes me want to work as hard as he did to get where he is. Yemela Ade is a beast on stage. Her performance level is crazy and as such a hardworking lady, I feel like setting that type of bar makes me want to work so hard in terms of performance and to be able to like pull through. So she's an, she's an incredible person. So I don't know if I actually do feel any type of suppression as a woman in the male dominated industry. I feel like everyone is kind of letting me breathe with my artistry. I mean, I work a lot with male creatives, producers, my management team, and even other people in the industry. I feel like they're very welcoming. And I feel like when it comes to male domination, it's more on the acceptance of the music than the people in the industry. But within the industry, I feel like everyone's just great. I mean, I'm an incredible dancer, that's something. Um, I dance really well, and I feel like my writing is pretty good, so those are my two superpowers. My sister wakes me up, tells me I have sessions with Wade, and then uh, I get ready, go to Wade's house, go to the studio, then he forces me to complete the old songs and I tell him no. And then we have like a fight about it for like three minutes. And then we end up doing what I want to do because I thought. <laughs> then he plays something fresh. We start a new song. Um, what else do we do? He's telling me to write and believes that I'm not writing because he thinks I'm on TikTok. But then I show him my phone and then he's surprised that I'm writing. And then I start writing and then he sees what I've written and he's like, hmm, okay, all right. And then I. You know, he adds a couple of things that he feels we could tweak up or change. Melodies, we're all in the studio, we're vibing. I put the words onto the mic. I tell him I want to go home. He's like, no, you can't go home. You have to finish the song. 
I finish the song and then I go home and then I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much how we work. Something I would, an advice I would give to an upcoming artist would be to post more. I feel like the only way to reach a larger audience other than the people around you is social media and I feel like it's a very vital and useful tool in your growth as an artist so I would say you should post more and work really hard and be consistent because consistency is key. Shout out to Nala! <laughs> Thank, you so much. Thank you for having me.